Let Garmin support show you how to create waypoints and routes on your Striker Vivid Fish Finder. We will be using the Striker Vivid 9SV, but the process is similar on other Striker Vivid units. Start by powering on the device. Then navigate to the Quick Draw map. Here you can create routes and waypoints. The Striker Vivid units do not come with maps. It is helpful to create Quick Draw contours first. You will be required to record Quick Draw contours with your transducer while you are on the water to see chart data. The Striker Vivid 7 and 9SV can download QuickDraw contours with the Active Captain app. The contours can then be transferred to the Fish Finder. Follow our article below to find out more about QuickDraw contours. Using the up, down, left, and right arrows allow you to navigate the QuickDraw map. A circle with crosshairs will appear, allowing you to navigate precisely to where you want. In the top left, you will see a lat long, distance from your location, and the GPS heading degrees. Select the check mark. Then select Create Waypoint with the check mark. Select the check mark once you create the waypoint. Select the waypoint name, then edit the waypoint. The name and symbol can be changed to your liking. The depth and temperature will display when you mark the waypoint if you are in the water. You can also add a comment for the waypoint. Position allows you to move the waypoint by coordinates, chart, your current position, or by range and bearing. Select the back arrow three times to navigate to the Quick Draw map. Routes can also be created with the Striker Vivid series. Use the up, down, left, and right arrows to navigate to a point of interest or a waypoint you have created. Select the check mark. Select Navigate To. You will have two options. Select Go To to make a route directly to the point you selected without any turns. Select Route To to create turns from the point of interest to your position. Use the up, down, left, and right arrows to move the crosshairs. Select the check mark to create a turn. You can add additional turns. Select the menu button or the three lines stacked on each other when you are done making turns. Select Navigate Route. When navigating the route, the navigation overlay will display the route you are navigating like distance to destination and distance to next turn. When you arrive at the destination, the striker will complete the route. Select the menu button, then stop navigating to stop navigation manually. The striker will ask to save the active route when you stop navigating on a route to route. Select yes to save the active route. You can edit, delete, or navigate the route again once it is saved. Edit Route will allow you to change the name and edit turns of the route. Delete will delete the route. Navigate To it will give you the option to follow the route forwards, backwards, or offset by following port or starboard, forward or backwards. Select the back arrow to navigate back to the home screen. Select User Data in the bottom left. Under User Data, you will have a Waypoint and Routes Manager. Each of these options will have waypoints and routes you have saved. This is an easy place to navigate, edit, or delete user data. Search will allow you to search for routes or waypoints you have named in the device. 
Select Manage Data to view the memory usage of waypoints and routes or to clear all user data. Striker Vivid units can save 5,000 waypoints and 100 routes. Now select Memory Usage. This will display the number of waypoints and routes you have saved. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please subscribe to the Garmin Support YouTube channel and visit marinesupport.garmin.com.